Hello, this is Ikumi. Uh, in this section, I'm going to show you a really cool trick that you can do to save time, paper, and energy. And it might even make your artwork a little bit more fluid and natural looking, so you can't really ask for too much more, right? So, what's the secret? So here's what you do. Uh, you use a non-photo blue pencil for your initial sketch. Okay? And uh, here are four kinds of non-photo blue pencils that I've tried out. They're all a little bit different, so give it a shot. Uh, my favorite so far are Stadler and Prismacolor Original 919. The nice thing about non-photo blue is you can like really be sketchy and uh, uh, be fluid with your marks, but don't have to worry about it showing up in your uh, piece later. So let me show you what I mean by that. So once I do my initial sketch in non-photo blue, I then go over the final sketch right on the, the initial sketch with a graphite pencil. For this, I use an H pencil. It works just fine. Um, so you don't have to use tracing paper to go over. You don't have to use a light box or anything. You know, so it saves time and paper this way. Okay, and for some reason, like drawing over your initial sketch, kind of keep your artwork fluid which is what you want and the only thing you have to worry about when scanning in is you use 24-bit color scanning not the gray scale you guys see how it picks up non-photo blue you don't want that to show up so go ahead and pick blue and resolution usually at 300 dpi and let's do it Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna remember, turn this over, and uh, the two palettes that are going to be important will be the layers palette and the channels palette. Okay, first things first, I'm going to clean up this sketch a little bit, like anything you do. So, first levels, Command L. Uh, let's pick white, and that looks pretty good. Alright, and you can spend all day, like, cleaning everything up so there's no black, but uh, let's move on for the purpose of this exercise. Okay, now I want you to look at this channels palette. Okay, uh, the channels palette works a lot like the filters of photography. So, for example, the red filter filters out all the red. The green filter fills out all the green. And the blue filter fills out all, filters out all the blue. So, what happens if you click on the blue? Oh, it filters out all the non-photo blue. And it's got to be non-photo blue for this to work. I've tried with other blues, but it doesn't quite work. So, uh, that's another reason you choose that. Okay, well that's great, but how do you put this back on the layer so you can uh, paint on it and stuff? Well, here's what you do. Okay? First, in the layers palette, make two new layers. Okay, take the bottom layer and fill it with a, any color, background color, I'll choose white for now. Okay, turn that off for now. Go back to channels layer. Select the blue, so the non-photo blue is filtered out. Okay, hit this button which is select channel as a selection. And you can see now that everywhere there's a mark, there's marching ants, meaning it's being selected. But if you look at the edge, there's also marching ends, which means that the white is being selected. So how do you select the blacks? Well, you go to select, inverse. Okay, so now there's no more marching ends outside. So you go back to the layers palette, go to layer 2, okay, and pick any color you want for your sketch to be. It doesn't have to be black, but I'll use black for now and uh, hit option delete to fill a selection. Okay, so now when you turn back the layer one on, all the sketch is here and it's a layer. So even if you turn off the background and layer one, layer two, also known as the sketch, is still here. And uh, in the next section, I'll show you why this is really cool and different ways of using this.